Okay, so people told me in the comments, dude, Gardev's plan makes more sense than you think. As we established in the chapter where we recruit Tiki, he can mind control people. So what he can do is he can mind control Ellis, get her to revive one of Marth's ancestors, mind control them, and then have them wield the falchion and use that as leverage against Medeus. And since Medeus cannot harm Garnef, uh, he's kind of in checkmate right there. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's that's a pretty solid plan. I should have given Garnef more credit. Though I will say that his awful fucking illusions thing is still the dumbest thing ever. But it is fixed in the remakes. I don't know why the fuck they did- they messed it up here. Anyway, click. Mamkut Kingdom. We have very little things to say. So. Um. It's worth noting that- uh, Well, okay, first let's talk about the plot. We're nearing the end of the story. Yay. Next. Um. So. In the previous chapter, Ellis was given the alm staff, but in the remakes, she's not given it right away. Instead, it's placed in a chest in this chapter. But since she has the alm staff here, um, the development team instead decided to place a useless fucking firestone in there. I, I have no idea what they were thinking. Um, but another thing is that I just realized that there is another removed chapter in Fire Emblem 3. Um, there is a chapter that's right before you face Michalis or Michelle, um, in Mechadon, and it's a big clashy chapter, and I remember that one. I thought it was pretty neat. And again, they removed a fucking cool chapter, so there you go. So yeah, plot stuff. He's like, oh, there's Medea's castle. Yay, we finally reached it. Anyway, um... This chapter in the bottom, in, in the southwest, there is a secret shop, and it consists almost entirely, well, it consists entirely of stat boosters. They're all 10,000 gold, not really worth it for me, especially since I want to get this done quick, and most of my units have already capped their stats. I'm pretty convinced that I'm just, like, chances are I'm just gonna whack Medeus a couple times with the Falchion, and that'll be it. Uh, the key, however, is to get all the other guys dead, assuming that it's a seize mission, which, uh, is what I'm concerned about, but I don't think that's the case. But yeah, stat boosters, um, if you have the silver card, they're only 5,000 gold, but again, I just want to beat this chapter right away, and I have what is invariably the fastest method, assuming that you trained up Sheeta, and assuming that she has a lot of strength. Yeah, there's, uh, there's Linda. Linda's just gonna m do one thing in this chapter, which is warp skip Marth. And, uh, Sheeta's just kinda gonna do this. Oh, by the way, there's Moses' clone brother. Uh, don't know his name, I guess we'll call him Poses. Because, I mean, damn, look at that friggin' Pose. Really menacing. 10 out of 10. Okay, so Zemzil. <laughs> That's not a very cool name. Anyway, yeah, she just kind of explodes him, and that's it. So yeah, the Alm Staff is used to revive dead units. It's only usable by Ellis, and since we have no dead units, we don't give a shit. Um, I believe you need to go over to the altar with the grave, though, in order to use it. And again, that's just too much fucking work. Fuck it. If I were doing a, uh, like a, like an Iron Man run, and I lost a few units, I'd be like, oh, geez, I definitely need to go there, because I Like, chances are it was Sheeta that I fucked up with, and, um, yeah, just kinda... Yeah, that would- that would really suck. I want him to have a happy ending. And yeah, Medeus is just like, oh, you think you're so tough? Well, guess what? I'm Medeus. That's- that's all he's gotta say. He has nothing to back up his logic. He's just, you know... Medeus never did well in school, 